G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we're back in our Mega City series, coming back for a very big day. We finally found the schematics for both the Desert Vulture, the Dolcha, and the Machete, the things I've been looking for for so long, far longer than I care to mention, but we finally have the ability to make these bad boys. Finally some weapons that can stand up against the zombie hordes, much better than what I've got at the moment. So that's my goal for today. I'm gonna head on out nice and early back up to the apartment building. I've got all the stuff that I could possibly get that's somewhat related to my task today. I'm gonna head back up to the apartment building up in the pine forest to get the rest of my stuff and start cracking out my new weaponry. I'm not gonna muck about. I'm not gonna hang about. I'm up. I'm off. I'm going. The sun's not up, but I sure as shit am. You know what, actually? There's a lot of, like, good POIs in this desert town. I've been out in the desert town over to the west, raiding, like, the main city center area. But there's all of this here. There's also this main area down here of my main desert city that I haven't ever gone and had a look at yet. There's probably some good loot around there if I just stick my nose where it probably shouldn't be and have a bit of a squiz around. I'll keep that in mind for later on. I'm always desperate for bigger and better looting. Maybe I shouldn't go as far as I thought I had to. Home sweet home again. Slide up in my parking spot and get up the ladders. It's good to be back. Even though this isn't really where I do much of my surviving anymore, it served me well for the good first 30 odd days, the first month of this series. So I'm pretty happy back here whenever I get to feel this warmth all over again. Nice. Let's not get distracted though. What do I need? I need the springs. Got those. I need a shitload of steel as well, don't I? Which I should have... Hmm, not much clay in there at all. All right, well, in that case, I'll just double up on that. Quickly get you sizzling away and smelting what I need. How much can I make? 25. That's not very many at all. I need like 100. While I'm waiting for that steel to craft, I will put on a couple of rounds of 9mm ammo on the craft. I'm kind of annoyed I haven't found... How close am I actually to finishing it off? I haven't found all the pistol paint books, which I kind of really need, given that's where all of my uh, my points are going into. But I've got five out of seven. So I don't have the high power 9mm, but that's okay. More accurate rap when rapid firing 9mm weapons, that would come in very handy. Plus me out of bolt craft ammo and ignore armor for point blank. Those books are very, very handy, and I don't know where they are, and I really bloody want them, but in the meantime, just get you crafting away. That use... Ooh, actually, not as many of my materials as I thought it would. Use all my gunpowder, but not all my tips or casings. That's fine. You guys can go back in there for the jiffy. Uh, where else can you go? I can chuck you into there. You can keep on smelting that away. Mm, I'll keep you going with the clay for the moment. Man, I thought this was going to be a breeze this morning, but it turns out there's still some hurdles to limp over. I do have one Rockbusters candy. I wouldn't mind getting a couple more of those along the trip, but for the moment, I've only got the one... Maybe I need to down that and go do some mining. Not only for things like clay. Well, actually, I think I've got a little bit of clay at the moment. It's not quite as pressing. I just need to get it to smelt into the forge a little bit faster. But things like nitro powder and coal, I don't have very many of at all. And I need that for my gunpowder supply. So I might even... I'll, focus, I'll stay here for the moment. I'll get my dolcha and my machete up and going. Once I've got that... I reckon I might spend this afternoon just trying to gather some resources. I can't get distracted by shiny loot all the time. Occasionally, occasionally, I do have to do the chores. Ooh, there's a sneaky 21 steel just hanging out in my, um, what should we call it, my materials box. That gives me 69 steel. Nice, but also very nice. It gives me enough steel to make myself the vulture. So, let's get you going right away. I can stop you and just focus on this one. Hang on, pass. I still need a lot more to make the machete after this. Please, 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 I'm begging you, be made with a relatively high level. I don't think I can take the heartbreak of yearning after you for so long, only for you to pop out of my workbench with bog all stats. Is it better to do with the XP gogs or the agility uh, gogs? I reckon I'll grab that one. High level of agility. That's what this is under, so that should work out. Gonna take five minutes. Get you crafting. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. That spits out the other end, being uh, being dog shit, I'm going to be very upset. That should be enough steel for that one. We could jump back into here. Uh, we'll do the same thing again. We'll keep our agility specs on to make my machete a tier 5. Double upgrade on the weapon again. Only a, mil uh, a minute to craft that. So I'm pretty excited about that one. Now that that's in there, though, where you make all those 9mm rounds again that I so desperately need. 7.77 across the board. So it's not like almost 1,000 rounds of ammo, which 
isn't that many considering how fast the SMG spits it out, but I'm always going to be happy to have it. You're going to hang out in there with the rest of your lady friends. Nice. Okay, the rest of this stuff can all go away. Although I think I want to bring this stuff back with me down to the desert. So maybe I'll chuck it into a spare box. So later on, when I'm leaving again, I can just tap out, take it all with me, and not have to think about it. I can definitely hear something getting battered downstairs. Is there someone down here? I mean, it definitely is. Is it just, just you? I don't know where you came from. I don't know how you ended up here, but it sounds like there's someone else around here somewhere. Are you, like, stuck outside? Or are you stuck in here? There you are. How the hell did you end up here, you puppet? I don't even want to know. I mean, I know, like, zombies are supposed to have a super of the pathfinding now, but <laughs> getting stuck in that little crevice, I know you're a spider, but there's no bugs there for you. I'd love to be able to get my uh, my wasteland base up to the same kind of level that this one was. This was this was perfect. This was working exactly how I wanted it to work, and the zombies barely stood a chance. The wasteland base has a couple of rough edges I need to get the old plane out and smooth down a little bit, which will take a bit of work and probably a lot of just guesstimations and probably wrong answers as well. But I want to get it working at that level. That base was so good. It's got to be almost done by now, surely. Oh, they're both done. In fact, I got their right on the nipple because apparently Gamo's only just crafting now, so definitely time that to perfection. Okay, the moment of truth. What have we got? We've got the Dolce and the Shetty. Old Shetty and Old Magnum. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous about how this is going to play out. What's my current Magnum doing? It's doing 106. I mean, magazine size and stuff doesn't really matter too much, but 106 damage compared to... <laughs> no! <laughs> Why? Why does this game hate me so much? <laughs> 101! You're worse! You're worse than the Magnum! I mean, you have a larger magazine, so you're probably still better. It's more damage down range, I suppose. Plus, it fires a bit faster. Get stuffed! Get absolutely stuffed, you great budgerigar! That is bullshit! Oh! I haven't been this mad since an Ibis stole me hot dog. Seriously, what a bloody crock pot! No, well, okay. Well, I have to go with it anyway. I'll take all of you because, I mean, to be honest, I just hate the bloody magnum, so any upgrades and upgrade. Grab you. I can now suppress you as well, which is a good uh, bit of fun. I'll chuck in... Ooh, magazine extended gives me 13 rounds, but I did kind of want to go with the fully auto trigger mod. See if... Oh, it's like a tier 6 to give me extra mods on as well to make it much easier, but I can't get that. You've got to be purple. Do I want to have... What I want to have, do I want to have a reflex sight? Do I want to have full auto dolcha, which sounds like a great time? Or do I want to have more rounds in the magazine? I'm not sure what the right option there is. Before I get too carried away, what about the machete? The current one is doing 25 and 45 for a cost of 20. And you're doing 20, 29, 48, uh, 40, 48 and a half, 49 for a cost of 19. So yeah, okay. Marginally better, but at least it's an improvement. Not like this dickbaggery. I decided to go with the Suppressor, Magazine Extender, and Reflex Sight mod on the Dolcha, plus uh, just the Bleeding mod, Rad Remover, and Ergonomic Grip mod on the Machete. So they actually come out looking pretty bloody swell. 111 damage on the Dolcha. It does actually take a bit of a, uh, a bit of a downgrade because I'm running with the Suppressor. If I didn't have it on there, it'd do better. But just being able to just, like, suppress that a little bit, plus if I find all the Urban Combat books, that won't be a factor. You guys can go into there. Uh, I suppose with this, I'll scrap you, and I'll scrap you. You did serve me well, so it feels like a bit of a shame just to tear you apart from part and stash you in a box somewhere. But I promise you it's worthwhile. In you guys go. Oh, look at you, though. Look at this bad boy. I like it. I like it a lot. It's like streamlined and ready for the murder. Oh, I've wanted you for so long. Before I head out to go mining and get all the gunpowder stuff that I need, do I have... Uh, which book series was it in? It was in The Art of Mining. No, I don't have it. The Harvest 10% more ore would buzz from coffee. I don't have that one, which kind of sucks, but that's right. It means I don't have to take coffees with me. Although I probably should, given it will help me keep my uh, stamina up. There's a fat stack of coffees just there. Okay. Where is a good spot to go mining? There's no nodes in the city. They're all on the outskirts. There's all the white nodes that are the nitrates. 
Uh, oh, 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 that one there. Okay, look at that. You've got the coal node right next to it and a lead node and a nitrate node. So that there, I'm just going to mark this like this. Actually, I was going to call that the bullet mine. Bullet mine. There we go, because it's got all the ingredients I need except for brass. But I've got plenty of that already. On my way out of town down to the mine, I will cook a drop in on anywhere where I've marked up a vending machine. Because getting another couple of candies would be a good idea. Oh, there's one just here, but it's inside somewhere. Oh, good day, bud. Do you want to be the first victim of a brand new Dolce? I think you do. Come on. Nice straight line. There you go. <laughs> oh, that was satisfying. That was heck. You know what? That's so satisfying. I'm going to take off me Dax and give you a right, Rodrin. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted that to feel like. Just gives me the fizz. Gives me the fizz in every way you can imagine. Where the hell is this stupid bloody vending machine? I'm already winning today. I want to win some more. Oh, yes, it's good. This is the Mopower Electric Store, which I think had like a vending machine over where the toilets were. Oh, actually nailed that. All right, it's right where I thought it was, right next to the toilets. What candies do you have? None. All right, that's fair. But at least now I have a little window there. Go window shop like a bloody drive through Head on down to the next one, which was just down here somewhere. Not a lot of easy access vending machines, which kind of sucks. In fact, in the whole game I've had so far, I've barely found any. Well, I've got like four vending machines marked. Hardly a, um, a bountiful resource. There's this one with some eye candy. You know what? No. You know what? No. I am thoroughly subscribed to the notion that eye candy actually ruins the loot you can possibly get. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it anymore. I've been heartbroken too many times. Here's the marker for the mines. What have we got? We've got coal, we've got lead, and we've got nitrate. Everything that I wanted. Oh, and a nice little trifecta just here. That's lovely, bloody lovely. Pop up the bike. I didn't bring... I probably should have brought my turret with me so he can stand guard while I'm downstairs breaking down half the world. But instead... That's not what a tree sounds like. That's not wood at all. All right, we found a stone tree. I've heard of petrified wood before, but that's taking it to a whole other level. Or is this because it's like clipping through the stone? I have no idea what just happened there, but whatever. Could have pushed on a pretend like that made sense to me. I'm going to grab a bunch of wood, make a bunch of spikes, and expect myself like a little perimeter fence at the top of the hole. The last thing I need after putting in all that work to get myself the new weapons is to get shish kabod by a screamer in the bottom of a pit. Put my XP gogs on. I'll quickly grab the rock busters. Chuck in your last for 10 minutes, which I normally don't get all the way through of anyway, and start whacking you down. So I need coal and nitrate are the main ones I'm here for. Quickly just carve out the little hole underneath and find where the node goes down. Once I know where the shaft actually is, then I can put up the spikes and get the protection. Although, to be honest, I, it's, uh, I'm not really sure screamers actually show up. They're normally going to show up when you're digging out. There it is there. When you're digging out iron, like the metallic clang calls in screamers much more than the rocky thud. So I should be hopefully okay. But I don't really want to take any chances with it. I'm not sure how much coal I'm actually going to need, so I'm kind of just basing when I'm going to change over to nitrate by how much time is left on my Rockbusters candy. Like, when it gets to about five minutes, about halfway, I'll change on over. But maybe I should go a little bit earlier because nitrate just doesn't have the yield that coal does. Is that still a thing? I definitely remember that being a thing recently. I don't remember exactly what alpha it was or if it was even alpha 20, but I remember being disappointed by that in the past. We've got 2,300 of it already, though. Jeez, that's gone pretty well for me. Lining my pockets like I've been naughty for Santa. Actually, what I'll do... I need to face... What's that? North, south, east, west. Yeah. I need to face west. Because if I can... Like, the, the nitrate node is just there. So if I can find the nitrate node from the same pit, I don't need to go up, redig somewhere else, and change my path at all. I can just start a new mine from this mine, which sounds like a great idea to me. Quickly keep carving it out. No, nope, it's all dark stuff in here. That's what we'll keep on going. Coal's still good. Nitrate's out here somewhere. There it is. There's the nitrate right on the dot as well as I got to the five minute mark. Grab all of you. Guess what? I get 70. 70 nitrate per block. What about this? How much coal do I get out of one of you? 70 and 70. Okay, so it matches up nice and evenly. I take back what I was saying before. Let's get going. Let's get mining. I've been down here for a long time, and we've got like a less than a minute left of my Rockbusters candy, which is pretty good, making the most out of that. Grab the last couple of bits of this. How am I looking, actually? How am I looking for resources? Got 
Ooh, I've actually surpassed my coal with my nitrate haul, which is actually pretty good because I think I've got more. I've definitely got more coal back home than I do nitrate, so that's worked out in my favor. I'll spend the last 30 seconds grabbing what I need to, and also potentially collapsing the ceiling, which is never a good thought, but... Well, if you know I know it's a possibility, I'm not going to learn from my prior mistakes and just make the same thing over and over again. I'm too desperate for resources to start taking my own welfare into any sort of consideration. There we go, Rockbusters is done, so that'll be the last block. I'll leave that where it stands and head back out through the coal passage. Good effort. Good effort by me, actually. Unusual for me to take advantage of that so well without an auger, but apparently the steel pickaxe did the job. Up to the top, jump over the spikes. Happy as. All right, let's get back to the apartment building. Put a whole bunch of gunpowder on the craft. I have to spend the night up in the pine forest, which isn't so bad, I suppose. Did get a lot of stones out of that as well, actually. But oh, all my cement mixes are down in the desert. Damn it, I knew I should have just made new ones and not just moved my base. Oh, I see that. Cheeky god bag waiting for me in the car park over there. And I'm only, look, I don't have so much self control. And I mean, I've got basically negative five. So I can't resist loot at the best of times. Of course, I'm going to take advantage of that. Quickly sit you down as well. So no one's the wiser. Loot and specs on. Ow. Oh. It's not a god bag at all. It's somewhere I've been before and just didn't empty the bloody thing. That's why every time, even when I find something rubbish in a loot bag, I take everything out of it and throw it away. Because otherwise it stays there forever and it gets future Josh excited for no reason. I'll grab the coal and nitrate. How close am I to being right on it, actually? Oh, I did get a lot more nitrate than I was anticipating, but that's fine. I do have my XP gogs on. I'll grab some fuel and quickly chuck it into there. Put a whole bunch in. Gunpowder. I can't make the stacks yet because you need super duper high level of demolitions expert for that, which I'm never going to get. You need a full hour of fuel. That's a little bit too many. Uh, about there. Yep, that'll do it. A little bit of surplus, but that's all right. We'll be a little bit wasteful with our free fuel we got from a derpo that one time. So that's ooh, what? Three and a half thousand gunpowder. It's actually not that many. It's going to match up reasonably nicely to all of the tips and the casings I have, though. So I'm not upset about that at all, but. I don't know. It's got, I wish it was like the gas where like, you know, you got like 10 for one, but that's being very greedy. Just making sure I've got enough fuel in all these forges to do what I need to do. You're crafting away a bunch more steel for me, which is good because I need a lot of steel to do the upgrades to my horde base back in the wasteland. It's still pretty messed up from the last horde and I haven't done repairs yet, which is a little bit silly of me. A little bit irresponsible, but we'll manage. There's still those boxes just there. It's kind of teasing me. It's been a long time since I saw them when I first moved in, but I haven't gone ahead again around them just yet. What's the time? It's quarter to seven. I reckon we can do that. With our new improved weaponry, I reckon we're going to have a right old swing of that and probably come out the other side relatively clean. What am I going this way for? Why am I going the long way down? I put bloody hay bales at the bottom so I could jump out the window. They probably forgot about it. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Much faster. I have gone like a little bit into this place before. Didn't search the mailboxes last time though, which is an interesting decision. Uh, ski goggles on because that gives me the max level of damage for all the weapons that I now have. That seems much more important than getting some extra XP here and there occasionally. Let's have a little scout around and see what's waiting for us. The crickets are already chirping, so time's ticking away. I can't faff about too much. I'm not entirely sure what the right way I'm supposed to be going through this building is because it has been pretty well ransacked by, I think it was like a wolf horde or something that came through here way back when. I can't really remember, but it's definitely been turned upside down a little bit by someone other than me. Mm, okay, stairs up seem like a good idea. There were some stairs back at the other entrance, but I'll get back there later on. I'm just going to kind of wing it and just see. Oh God, see what I can come up with. That's a white. Come on, Dolcha. Don't let me down now. Put all my faith in you before. There we go. See, look at that. If I had, I had the magnet, would have had to have reloaded. But instead, I can keep putting rounds down and putting zombies down. So these are the stairs I saw before from the other side of the POI to lead upstairs. It's a weird, like... It's kind of like a remnant, but not... Oh, God. Nope. Get the gun out. It's a weird remnant, but not actually a remnant. It's like, all the doors are unlocked. No one hiding out in there either. Yeah, all the doors are unlocked and everything's kind of open and ready for the raiding. But there's no, like, path through it, which is confusing me a little bit. There's a lot of POIs like that. Oh, I'll just scrap you, but thank you very much. That, like, aren't the normal dungeon style. Ooh, g'day, bud. I'll quickly put you down. 
Make sure you don't come sniffing around here later on when I'm least suspecting it. Yeah, like, if it's not the main path to follow, I just get a bit confused all the time. It's already after 9 o'clock. The crickets are chirping louder and louder and telling me to go home, but not until I'm done here. Gross, a cowboy hat in the desk. Yeah, I was going to say someone's definitely hiding in that cupboard. That's all right. Oh, how? What? You were lying on the ground and somehow I still managed to miss you. Oh, for goodness sake, I missed a whole bunch of times. Learn to shoot, Josh, you utter pelican. I know handling a firearm with wings are probably pretty difficult, but sort your shit out. There's actually some sneaky boxes around the place as well. Construction site box and a working stiff box. I'll chuck on my loot and specs. Well, now, actually, I suppose I already have them on. It's a bit silly of them, that's fine. Nothing in you and nothing in you. Called the early and was kind of right. I'll scrap you for the stone. I don't need steel tool parts, but thanks for the offer. Chuck on my extra agility specs again. Wait for it. Didn't kill ya. Gotta focus on getting headshots. You can shoot them the collarbone all you want. It'll barely tickle them. They're insane now. They're basically bullet sponges. It's headshots or nothing. Night time's about to fall, but that's okay. I'll start crawling around though. Try to be a little bit more stealthy with it. So far, it's mostly just like... Oh, I've already been here before, actually. Okay, that's fine. Mostly, it's just been one or two rando zombies popping out and not really much of a hassle. And that goes back down to there. Okay, so I think I have to go up a bit further. Is this up onto the roof, though? Oh, that's a little... That's a little dicey. A little bit cheeky, but that's why we managed to get through it. What the... All right, that's that that SMG, please. I pressed the button. I need you to change the weapons a little bit faster than what you currently do. When I'm that close to a feral white, there's no time for placing shots. It's spraying and praying and hopefully getting the job done. I don't know why lately the game's been having some issues. I'll tap the button to change weapon and it's like, how about you just have another couple of seconds to think about it while you're having your nose ripped off by a zombie. So what I need, game, if I say weapon, give weapon. Up the final lot of stairs, up onto the roof where all the loot was. I'm not really expecting to get much out of the loot, but... I mean, what's my loot stage at at the moment, actually? While I'm in the pine forest, so not much. 74, so I really can't expect to get much out of it, if anything. What I'm more worried about, though, is what zombie guards there's gonna be. Which is none? Wait, what? Since when is there ever no zombie guards at the top of a building? I'm not complaining about it. I'm pretty soaked about it, to be honest. Save myself the worry. Scrap your arrowheads. Take the ammo. Thank you. All right. Easy as then. What have you got for me? Popping pills. And no. Oh, you cheeky sod. You cheeky banana peel. Almost tripped me up there, but it's fine. We got off. We had that extra half a minute just to figure out what the shit was going on. Some aloe cream. And a battery. I'll take you, actually, because you're tier four. And some repair kits. Not so shabby. All right. Well, let's get back home again. Just a little rage, just to kind of wet our bills a little bit. Worked out okay in the end. Home sweet home. I'll grab my gunpowder out of you. Got an extra, what, 1,200 out of there, which is good. Got lots of casings around in here as well. Chuck on the old XP gogs, which they're already on. Do I... Do I make more 9mm or do I try and make a couple of 44s? Although I suppose, no, I make more 9mm because that's that's fully automatic on the SMG. Plus it does fast damage, more damage. That's my panic gun if things go wrong. So 9mm is definitely more handy for that. Plus the 44, the Dolch is only semi-auto. So I'm not going to use the ammo quite as fast on that anyway. You can all go back into there. I'm now short on casings, I suppose. Hold on a second. Nope, that's the steel. There's some casings there. I'll craft up the rest of you while I'm at it. There we go. Look at that. We're starting to, starting to finally get some ammo going for us. Let's make sure we load up those forges with any more fuel they might need. In you go. I'm trying to smelt back in some brass because I've used almost all of it now. Uh, you're still cooking away. That's all nice and lovely. You only got four minutes left. You can have some more. Here you go. Get you back up to about half an hour as well. Got more steel coming. Steel's my main priority, I think. Because if I can get, like, the pillars of my base nice and steelified, sure, uh, then that's going to be that the zombies don't have an option to tear down my base. A couple of haphazard swings here and there, the steel can deal with. I just need to make sure that no zombies think that that's the best way to go. When that happens, it's all over. Multicolored rover. Uh, anything else in here I actually need? I don't really think so. You can hang out here for a little bit. Most of the stuff I want to take back down to the desert with me are already in here. So we've got 146 steel. More on the way. 
And here gets some more concrete going as well. I might have to spend tomorrow doing some repairs and upgrades to the Horde base. Maybe a cheeky bit of a raid in the afternoon. But the Horde is showing up in 48 hours. Not too much time at all. So I really do need to go and focus on the base stuff first. Rather than doing it in the last couple of hours before they're beating down my door. But I'm going to have to go and upgrade the base. Do some raiding and get prepared in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.